she then speaks out, you tend to see the person as a prostitute. Oh, well, she has gone to sleep with the lecturer and all that. And in the other way, if a lecturer also speaks out, they'll say, oh, the lecturer had finished doing what he was supposed to do before speaking out, trying to implicate the student and all that and all that. So we should be able to empower these students, beginning from the secondary school level, to speak out. I'm a feminist and I respect the rights of women very, very well, very well. So we should empower students to speak out and stand on their rights, stand on their decision. They should be able to decide and say no. And no should be no. No should be no from the beginning till the end. Okay. Prof, yes. solutions. Yes, I first of all support uh, Chum. Yes. And uh, yeah, her friend uh, who called that comprehensive sexuality education should be one of the first steps. When you get the student to appreciate the need to stand up to their right to say yes or no okay we have, have a it looks like we have another call um hello good afternoon your name and where you're calling from all right go ahead <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. This is not meant for this program. Sorry. So, secondly, Richelle, as I was talking about the, the solutions to this problem, yes. children, especially female children, should come to school fully equipped to school. Mm. Because if you have been a lecturer like I have been one, uh, and you find... Can we the... see if this is a call? Hello? Hello? Afternoon. What's your name and where are you calling from? You're welcome. You have uh, 30 seconds to make your point. <laughs> okay. Thank you. All right, Prof. Uh -huh. So I was saying that if you teach and you find a brilliant female student in your class, even though you are a dog, you will be careful with such a child. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. If you find somebody who is studious, who is working, you'll be see most of this sets for great thing happens with very flimsy vulnerable vulnerable yeah. children yeah. who we'll have, have nothing to offer. Yeah. We'll have another call. Hello. Hello. Where are you calling from? All right, go ahead. Hmm. If you speak louder, we'll appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you think should be done? Just, yeah, I can have one brother or that. 
All right. Thank you very much for your suggestions. All right. He mentioned two things. Girls who go out in the night practicing prostitution in the school and the uh, process of recruitment of these lecturers that is not done the right yeah. way. No, uh, I, I was on something before. Most of the sets for grade cases that come up openly, in fact, the ones that even have the lecturers that are involved, discipline, dismiss, or whatever, whatever, Occur when a lecturer forces a student who knows her own news. Yeah. You understand? Yes. They will come out and speak, just like uh, uh, Jennifer also has said earlier. Uh, yes, when you are when you touch those ones, the flimsy, foolish guests that are all there to get grace, when they go succeed in capturing and conquering these lecturers, nobody hears it because that is their stock in trade. That's a mission. Exactly. So, that's a mission. Because yeah. some will not come out. They so will not because they, they are they, enjoying they, it. They are the people mm. asking for it. So they will never come out. But Pro, sorry to cut you in here. I'm I'm also a feminist and I'm an advocate, sexual mm. and reproductive health and rights. Mm. Actually when it comes to but sex. Let's take this call, please. Hello, good afternoon. Yes, your name and where you're calling from. You're welcome, ma'am. Yes. 